What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If it is the first time you're touching down on this channel, welcome to Small Feet, Big Heat. We talk sneakers, we talk streetwear, and everything in between. Today, I'm coming at y'all with a sneaker review. I have here the Cactus Corporation Air Max One. This is one of the more recent Travis Scott and Nike collaborations. I got pretty lucky with these. I entered one raffle. It was the Concepts raffle. And I hit, I got these in a size five and a half, which is my size. Some of you might remember this sneaker from last year when it was originally supposed to drop, but the Travis Scott and Astro World tragedy took place and Nike pushed the shoe back indefinitely. In my opinion, I think that actually contributed to a lot of the hype around this shoe in a backwards way. I'm not saying that it's right, but we all know how hype works. People had to wait longer for the shoe. They were anticipating the shoe. There was a lot of talk that Nike might scrap the shoe in general, which I never thought that they would do because honestly, the shoes were produced and I didn't think that they were gonna miss out on money like that. I definitely thought just like they did, they were probably gonna wait for it to die down. And here they are. My first impressions pulling these out of the box was the materials are really nice. The quality control on these is great. The shoe is inspired by the 2001 ACG pocket knife which if you put the shoes side by side, I'll go ahead and include a picture. You can definitely see the vibes. Like the inspiration is there. And it also has a very hiking and trail kind of aesthetic to it, which plays well into, you know, the Cactus Ranger, Cactus Jack thing that Travis Scott has going on. So it's very on par with the other collaborations that he's dropped with Nike. Now this colorway I have here is the Cactus Brown or Baroque Brown. So you can see it has a rubber brown outsole a aged yellow or cream colored midsole. There's also brown in the midsole. And there is a thin layer of paint over the air bubble. Now, my opinion, since this paint on the air bubble looks so thin, and like I said, the rest of the shoe is such good quality, I think that might've been purposeful. Like maybe when you wear these for quite some time or put some mileage on them, maybe they're expecting the paint on the air bubble to start to crack or like reveal itself. Maybe that was kind of the idea behind it because I'll give y'all a look in the B-roll, but it kind of already looks like it's cracking. It's not really like a solid paint job on there. There's different shades of tan mesh and tan nubuck on the upper. The lacing system from the ACG pocket knife I mentioned earlier is where these pieces on the eyelet and the back heel of the shoe come in. On the outside of the sneaker, there's a backward swoosh which to my best description, I would say feels and looks like a bunch of beads strung together. It gives the swoosh some texture, which I think is actually pretty cool. On the inside, you have a regular Nike swoosh, but it has that same beaded texture. There are a few branding hits on the sneaker. So you have Cactus Corp branding on the outsole. It's like imprinted in the rubber. There's also rubber Cactus Corp logos on the tongue of the sneaker on both tongues, left and right. There's also some stitched on red flags on the back heel tab that say Nike and Cactus Corp. Like I said, the materials and quality on this sneaker is really nice. I would even go as far as to say impressive. You do get extra laces. So there's the red laces that come in the shoe and there's also a brown set of laces. The tongue of the sneaker is that same dark tan nubuck that's used on the sides of the shoe and the back is like a red mesh material and you just have your usual Nike size tag on the back of there. And on the insoles, there's more branding. So it says Cactus Jack in one shoe and Nike in the other. All in all, the shoes are nice. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this recent Travis Scott and Nike collaboration. There were two more colors of the Air Max one. There were two Air Trainers. I've been sitting on these for a while deciding whether I was gonna keep or sell. And as nice as the shoes are, I'm not gonna take anything away from them. It's looking like I'm gonna sell them. There's a lot of shoes that I would love to add to my collection. So these are gonna have to go. But if you enjoyed today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, show a small YouTuber some love, and I'll check y'all out in the next one.